Hi, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Joseph Wills. Yeah. And I'm from Toronto. You're from Toronto? And uh, how old are you? 61. 61. Uh, were you born and raised in Toronto? No. Where were you born and raised? In New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Uh, when did you come to Toronto? How long? Uh, how long have you been here? So almost 30 years. 30 years. Wow, wow. Mm. 97, I came here. 97, yeah? Mm. Okay, okay. You got any wife, kids? I'm um, separated from my wife. Yeah. And um, mom, no kids? No kids. Okay, okay, okay. And um, first thing, what what do you think the government should do in order to help with the homelessness situation plus the mental health crisis that's going on? Um, both of them are hard to get the result of that from because there's there's so much to be not done in those areas, especially mental health. Mental health is brutal because they're here with us, the homeless people, the mental health act. So they have no place to put them. Okay. You know, so that makes it harder for the homeless to get places too because the home the mental health will be placed first. Which is probably proper, but they have no housing set up for us or nothing. You know, there's housing people here, but well, what are they doing? You know, because I don't see anybody leaving here where a lot of people getting houses. So what should they do though? Mm. You just told me the problems, but what do you reckon, if you were there, what would you do? Um, the building that goes on for condos and that should be, there should be with somebody who could do housing for homeless too. So basically, stop building these condos. And no, build I, I, no, no, they're building an equal value or something. You know, if they build three condos, build one homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. You know, because how many homeless people are here in Toronto? Two thousand something, or what? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I heard it's it's well over a quarter million that are homeless right now. A quarter million? Yeah. Yeah, that's too high. I, I hope that's right. I'm but that's in Canada, 200,000? 200,000? No, that'd be impossible. That'd Math be a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah, mathematically, that'd be no. <laughs> Couldn't be done. Yeah, I think no, it, it, I, it might know. as well be one person that's yeah. homeless. It's a equivalent to 10 people, to be fair. The whole Canada should be 25,000, probably. Okay. But that's a lot of freaking people. Yeah, 25,000. I think I put an extra zero on there. Two, two of these buildings should house how many people? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and they build two, but they're going up everywhere. There's two here, two here, down the gravel. But there's three or four going down there. The, the, the lot where that hotel is on, there's going to be another house there, or yeah. another hotel there. Yeah, yeah. And um, that so that they should build more, right? Yep. And um, what about this place where you are? Are you are you a resident of this place? Right uh, now? I used to be, but I am not no more. You're not. What happened? They kicked you out. No, I left voluntary because of the thievery in that. Oh, what's what's I've heard people are stealing from your room and... Yeah. So we believe the staff are... I don't know, everybody steals down there. Everybody. Mm -hmm. But we believe the staff are giving out um, the keys. Master keys and passing them to... I know they are. They're passing them to certain people. Yeah? Yeah. And that's why you left. So you're saying basically it's safer to be out than to be in this place? Uh, uh Yeah, I would say so, yeah. For me anyway, yeah. So where do you stay at night? Do you have like... I have, I have a camp. Where? No, I have a camp down on Midland and Shepherd. Midland and Shepherd. Yep. Um, would you be able to take me there one day? No. Yep. I'll pay you. Yep. Okay, okay. Next time I see you, we'll go up there. I'm going to make a movie up around here. Post up around here. Yeah? The sure. one behind the gym? No, I'm actually uh, on Midland across from Colangelo. Oh, so that, where were you trying to come? The one near Midland? Uh, mid my camp? Say that again? No, I... Okay. Now, I was there when she was there. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And um, so, mental health. How's your mental health state right now? <laughs> good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, you're not on any medication or. Uh, I do take some meds, yeah. You do take some. Yep. What What are they? What did they? What did they prescribe you? No, uh, I got stuff for um, depression. Depression. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And the facilities in this place, is it any good? Do they like? Do they send uh uh. uh Therapists, like say if you had an issue now, can you go in there and say I need to speak to a therapist? I yeah, but I have manners, so yeah, they treat me fairly well there. <laughs> oh, because you've got manners, right? Yeah, well, definitely anything needs manners. That's true. But the um, there is no medical, there is medical there. It's but it's beyond inadequate. Uh -huh. Um, you know, there's single women in there. I find there are young women that don't even have a family physician. That are 20, 20, 30, don't have a family physician. A doctor to see. You know, they, 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 they miss out on it all, I guess. But they won't help them find a doctor. Things are important. Everyday things. You know? Yeah. But, 
and uh, instead of doing things rational where somebody can even, like somebody loses it in there, which is, you know, there was a lot of people in there, it's mad or something like that, and it's going off, they don't take them aside and let them sit somewhere for a half hour yeah. and talk to them when they're more rational. Yeah. Then they get evicted and they send them to another shithole like these places. You know, maybe any one of them, they're all the goddamn same. The one in uh, Warden as well, Warden and that shelter, Nights in? Mm, no, that's you know that yeah, yeah, I, I was there. Oh, you were there? I yeah. also left there. Okay. They sent me here. Okay, okay. And what are the misconceptions, like, what, like when people see a homeless person, what are the misconceptions about the homeless? Yes. I don't know, think the worst. They think the worst? Yeah. And just step in for a but second. It, it, it fits most of the time. Say that again? It fits most of the time. Yeah? Yeah. So like, what, like, what, what do people, when people see a homeless person, what do they think that's false about them? Like, what misconceptions, like, what did they uh, I could, I could give you something. Because I think the worst one I see. Do you? Yeah, because, well, they, they have to live that life because that's all they got. What else yeah. are they going to do if they don't steal? They'll do it without. Yeah, they've got no choice but to steal food just, just to eat, right? Yeah, they do food here, but that's inadequate. Uh -huh. $250,000 kitchen in there and they can't have somebody cook for us? There's your job market right there for the homeless. Have the homeless cook in their own meals and pay them. They probably have security in there, whatever, and have a protocol where... And that would help. No, no, no. Fuck around, you're gone. You know, same as any other job market. But they won't do nothing. But, um, a structured process is what they need. And they will not do it. So... And, um... Money, money, money. Money, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what, it's the, what's the, like, um... The... The fentanyl situation right now. Um, exactly. it's a, there's a there's an epidemic that like, it's really bad. Can you tell me a bit about that? Like, well, it's it's bad because it's not regulated. Uh -huh. They do it with marijuana. Why don't they do it with every all the drugs? Every yeah. goddamn one of them, where they regulate them. Um, that way, the government's paying for all the shit that they use to make that. Yeah. To use their drugs, right? Why not make the shit and other shit pay for it and all the medical help too? And that use the drug to facilitate for itself. To pay for itself, and I believe that could be really done. Millions, millions of dollars. Then we take a lot of money out of the crime, man. You know, save resources like save the police officers and get them to do other things rather than petty crimes, right? Yeah. And um, the um, so the crisis. Have how long have you been homeless? Like all in total? Uh, about five years, probably. Five years. And within the five years, what's the worst thing that you've seen? Um, people dying, of course. Yeah, in what way? Fentanyl. Fentanyl overdoses. Yeah. When was the last one that you seen or heard of? Like, when was the last one? Was it recent one? Uh, probably last week? last week. Last week? We get them at least two or three a month here. Two or three a month? Yeah, if not here, then uh, Don Mills. When yeah. you say here, you mean, you mean this facility or do you mean... You get one here at least a month. One or two at least. In this facility? Yeah, a month. Once a month? One or two a month, yeah. All of them are like that, brother. All of them. Oh, bro. So what? Another, uh, what's happened to heroin? I think it's just took heroin off the streets, hasn't it? Mm, do they have um, a stronger drug? Um, you know, and they choose to use that. You know, it's just a different thing. You know. Yeah. And um. Use and abuse. Use and abuse. Yeah. They don't know how to use that at all. That's one thing doctors could do. Is at least teach them how to use the fucking shit. The right dose is that what you need, or exactly, exactly dose. The right dose, yeah. right? Are they put? They're putting too much weight, like too much in yeah. beyond the realm of reality. I was speaking to a young man yesterday, and he said to me that he's seen a young, younger fellow get given uh, anti coolant antifreeze into his syringe, yeah, and he's injected that thinking it's well. Cool. See, that's the thing; it's not regulated, but you get the fucking assholes like that. They do that shit, man. They're evil. The kid died. Evil. And Evil. The, the, the police do not investigate murders like that. No, 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 no. Because no, no. they think that, oh, you know what, he's a junkie. If you could call him for stealing some of yours or anything, and they're, yeah. and they're there, but they're not. No, there. they ain't coming for shit. Yeah. Unless it's a serious crime, like somebody can kill or something. Okay, they'll show up. Yeah. But not, not for not. They're not gonna come here for that. Okay. And if they do, it'll be the next day, or whatever. Okay. But don't blame them. It's not important, you know. Okay. And um, if you had two wishes to right now, right now. You had two wishes. What would those two wishes be? I don't know. Max, of course. The lottery. <laughs> oh, the lo win the lottery? Yep. 
Yeah. And just housing. And, and All I need is apartment to change my life. A lot of housing to change my life dramatically. Just a one bedroom. A one bedroom. Yep. A room. And how old you said you're 50? I'm 61. 61. And how how far how far are you away from your pension? That's like four years, three years. Yeah, I'm already pensioned. You pensioned? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This year. This year you got it, yeah. July. Is, is it enough? The yep. Payments? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll begin the pension. Okay, okay. That's yeah. good, man. That's good to hear. Because yeah. there's people out there, man, that have got no nothing. Do you know what I mean? Nobody wants to help each other. So those two of the wishes are. The, win the lottery and uh, a one bedroom flat for yourself. Yep. Right? And um, for the younger audience that's watching, or even say for a younger you, what would you tell yourself five years down, the, like five years ago before you were made homeless? Mm. What advice would you give yourself? They should be prepared for everything. Like, the income is most important because money rules the world. Yeah. Unfortunately. But yeah. Money, you gotta take money. Greed. Whoever had the most at the end wins, and that's sick but true. You yeah. know, yeah. it is. Whoever had the most at the end wins. I have. We have. We have younger audience. Hey, yeah. What would you tell them? What would your advice be to them? The education. education. Make sure you're well schooled. Ed without education. No, nah, you're going nowhere, especially in today's society. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. The yeah. more education you have, the more knowledge you have, the better off you are. It's always been that way. It's, it's true. And then stay away from drugs, right? The well, kids? <laughs> yeah. What do you, like, what's your advice for them? Say there's a 12 year old watching, 14 year old. What's, um, stay what's away. your advice? They know they should stay away from drugs. Everybody yeah. does. That's just a given. People that shouldn't be. You know, I mean, if you don't know that, that's stupid. Like, you got to know that. Stay away from drugs. Anything like that will take you down. Okay, yeah. Step, yeah. step to the left. This guy go fast. Bad drivers. Yeah. So you see the crash up there? There's uh, a big uh, accident just up the road. I just took a look at it. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're, di we're dying down here. Is there any last words you got to say on here? Uh, no, I just wish they gave us housing. <laughs> That's it, yeah? Thank you for everything. Can you just say the unwanted for me, please? The what? The unwanted? Yeah, thank you.